Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Sunday, April 30th, 2023, and we are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these MLB videos every single day along the NBA and NHL. Both those videos are live right now, so definitely go check those out. Uh, we're going after our first 7,500 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we won together today. We won together yesterday, and we made a lot of money yesterday. So we went 3-1 and one overall yesterday. Our best bet was the Pirates. Uh, we had them on the money line. That was a very easy winner. Uh, it was on game one. It didn't even matter whether it was game one or game two. The game, I think Pirates won 16-1 in game two against the Nationals. So that was an easy winner, our, our best bet there. Uh, we had the Cubs money line. That was a loss. Um, if you took out the bottom of the first, the Cubs outplayed them by a lot. I mean, it was a tough loss overall. We had the Phillies money line, plus money, plus 108, easy winner. Um, and then we had the Brewers money line as well. It was a little sweaty at the end, but an easy, pretty, pretty easy winner the whole way. It was 7-3, to three, basically, seven to one basically the whole way. And then the Angels got some runs that don't really matter, and then it was a little bit closer than I would have liked, but it was still a winner. So 3-1 day overall yesterday. Uh, we had a plus 1.77 unit day yesterday. Um, which brings us to, let's see here, it brings us, it brings us a plus 7.18 units for the year. Um, and overall, we're 69, 64 for the year uh, so far. And to, and if we've been making as money all year in the MLB, NBA, NHL, college basketball, become a member at ZDMBets.com slash picks. We have over 100 of you guys now. We only rolled this out a few weeks ago, so I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. As, as our members would tell you, the big perks is number one is you get the picks early in the day. That way you can take advantage of early lines better odds and that way you're able to be more profitable we end up winning which is more times than not also you have a direct line to me so any game you're considering betting uh you will you get a direct line to me to text that number anytime to ask about any game you're considering betting as long as you give us a little bit of time before the game so we actually look at it um and we have some other perks as well the website is linked in the comments below at zdmbets.com slash picks that website is linked in the comments below so um we have five picks today in the mlb Five. We're going hard today. So I love the board today, by the way. We have a nice little mix of money line spreads and totals. Now, there's one of you guys in the comments that always tells me, bet totals, bet totals. You got your wish today, baby. So we have five picks today. Let's get started. Our best bet, which is going to be the Twins, minus one and a half versus the Royals. You get this at minus 102 as I'm recording it. So uh, Sunday Gray's on the mound for the, uh, for, the, for the Twins, and he has a sub one ERA versus a lineup that is bad. And the Royals are putting a tomato can on the mound today. Um, he has a, he is a horrible pitcher. Uh, his name has escaped me right this moment, but I researched it today, and he's a terrible pitcher. Uh, the Royals beat the Twins yesterday, which actually gives me more of more confidence going into this game. Um, and the Twins are going to bounce back hard today. They're better in every facet: pitching, hitting, bullpen, everything. Um, and they're going to win this game by two or more. Love the Twins here, minus one point five versus the Royals. Next, we have the over eight and a half in the Orioles and Tigers game. Both are trotting out horrible, horrible pitchers today on the mound. The Orioles lineup is electric. Detroit can hit a little bit. This game is definitely going to go over here. I love the over eight and a half here in the Orioles and the Tigers, um, especially the Orioles bullpen. They are terrible. Their Orioles bullpen is absolutely atrocious. So you're going to see some runs coming six, seven, eighth inning um, if the Tigers can knock their pitch their starter out early. Their starters aren't even that good right now either. Next, we have the Guardians money line plus 110 versus the Red Sox. Um, Chris Sale's on the mound for the Sox, and he's been atrocious this year. He's got an 8.27 ERA. At this point, Chris Sale, unfortunately, is just a name. He's not, he's not what he used to be years ago. Uh, it's it's a 1-1 one -one series as of right this moment. I think the Guardians take two out of three here. The Guardians have the pitching advantage. Um, I love the value as well. I mean, plus 110. If you were to flip it, like let's say the Guardians were at home and the Red Sox were playing in Cleveland, this game probably is like Guardians like minus 130, minus 140. Uh, so I think this is some really good value here. You can get them on the money line, plus 110. Love the Guardians here. Um, just honestly, too, because of the pitching matchup. I mean, Chris Sale is not what he used to be. And the public is just betting the Red Sox. So they see Chris Sale and they knew he used to be good. He's not that anymore. I like the Guardians here, plus 110. Next, we have the Dimex money line. Versus the Rockies, that's minus, at one, minus 125 as I'm recording it. Um, the Rockies are trotting out Gomber, who has a double-digit ERA. 
Uh, they're playing in Colorado, which means that that ball is going to fly. Uh, the Diamondbacks have dominated this series for good reason, and they'll continue to do so. Because uh, their lineup is better, their pitching is better, uh, their manager is better. They're better every single facet of the game. The only player that like even gives me a cause to pop is Chris Bryant on the Rockies, but he's not what he used to be when he was with the Cubbies. Um, I, I just think the Diamondbacks are going to win this game very simple, very easily. Um, the fact that you give them at minus 125 is pretty legit. They're also trotting out. The reason why you give it minus, 20, minus 125 is the Diamondbacks are trotting out Ray, who is a, um, who's, who's like a pretty average pitcher. Um, so the Rockies could get some runs here. But, I mean, I just think the Rockies are trotting out a way worse pitcher. Uh, so in my mind, that's a pretty easy bet. I like the Diamondbacks here in money line minus 125. And lastly, we have the Cubs minus 1.5 versus the Marlins. It is very rare. <laughs> for me to ever bet a team two days in a row, much less three days in a row, and I'm doing it here. Um, and the reason being is because of this. The Cubs have, in this matchup, a substantially better pitcher. And yesterday, they outplayed the Marlins in every facet of the game, other than, other than that bottom of the first. If you get the bottom of the first, the Cubs win this game 6-2. to two. Now, you can't take out teams, obviously. You, you can't take out an entire half inning, especially when that half inning they score five runs. However, I just really think the first game was about as close as you can get. It was a walk-off walk -off single in the ninth. And yesterday, I mean, you take out the bottom of the first, they had they played better than them. Um, and their pitcher just exploded. The, Steel will not do that for the Cubs this time around. The Marlins are, are, are trotting out a tomato can. I love the Cubs here because the pitching matchup is weighted heavily in the Cubs. The Cubs lineup is fantastic. Um, and I just don't think the Marlins are going to sweep them. I just think, I think the Cubs are going to win this game by two or more. So I love the Cubs here minus 1.5. Now, we might be adding a pick or two here and there. I've got a couple games circled that I might be adding. Members, you'll have those texted to you. You can sign up to be a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. Everybody else, you can check my Twitter. My Twitter is in the description below. We post those a lot closer to game time. Members, you'll have those way before I get those out on Twitter. Um, so a quick recap what we got. We have the Twins minus 1.5. That's our best bet versus the Royals. We have the over 8.5 in the Orioles and Tigers. We have the Guardians money line plus 110 versus the Red Sox. We have the Diamondbacks money line versus the Rockies. And the Cubs minus 1.5 versus the Marlins. So uh, let's go lock in those picks, y'all. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check out those other videos.